Hey, it's your boy C-Moto. Um, oh, man. I hate to report this, but it is something that you guys need to know about. Um, I was furious. I mean, furious. And so was the customer. So it was just something that I feel we should bring up. Is there anything we can do about it? Probably not. From the thumbnail, you're probably curious. So the issue and the concern here is when customers place orders with the restaurant and the restaurant then reaches out for a driver from DoorDash because that's the type of accounts that they have. They can reach out and it's just a driver's requested by the merchant. Where there's a problem and an issue is while the customer is placing a delivery order with the restaurant, the customer from time to time, I can assume, is tipping for the driver. The problem is, is they pay the restaurant. So the restaurant then, not, not, I don't want to assume that every restaurant's like this, but you never know because it's always just a flat rate. You don't ever see tips, generally speaking, when it's a merchant requesting a driver. Then this, this is where you cannot see what the order is because it'll tell you merchant requested the driver, items unknown. So if I can think back, I can't remember the time that I was ever able to see a tip on that type of order. So it comes to fact that in this specific case, big drama story. The customer placed the order with the restaurant. She left a $20 tip for the delivery. And I went to go and I delivered the food. I accepted the order. I think it was $11, $12. I accept the order a couple miles away. Of course, no problem. I got it. 11 bucks. I got it. Only to be asked by the customer, did you receive the tip? I didn't see no tip on the order. So, of course, I said, oh, well, I have to end the order for me to be able to see if there's any additional tip. What do you know? There is no tip. I am bothered and just beyond pissed off because this is happening. It's not only happening to me, it's happening to everybody. I'm sure this is happening a lot more than we think out there, especially when it's these orders and mainly these orders that come through as a merchant requested delivery. So it's not to say every customer tipped. In this case, the restaurant got busted because the customer specified that the, delivery, um, that the tip is for the delivery driver because the customer knows that the restaurant does not have its own delivery drivers so they knew they were going to be reaching out third party to a delivery driver and that per and that customer specified the tip to go to the driver and the restaurant kept it they kept the the $20 tip that the that the that the customer gave to me and they just paid the $11 for the delivery so I'm like, okay. And the crazy part about it is the customer actually stepped in to help me out. So it was crazy because the customer turned around and gave me the $20 in cash. And I was ending my hour, my last hour, I was ending it. And I should have documented it, but I didn't want to make it obvious that I was trying to record this whole situation. Um... But I was just happy enough to know that the customer was going to go out their way to make sure that I got my tip and, believe it or not, go and chew the restaurant out. So the lady and her husband asked if I had a moment to go to the restaurant because it was only a couple of miles away. They wanted me there so then they could go and approach the restaurant and I can see them confront them about a tip that they left for the driver. And then they decided to keep it crazy so we walk into the restaurant and the i'm not sure is the owner the owner sees me again and he sees me pop up and then i'm with this uh this lady and gentleman and he was like well what's up and i'm assuming they didn't have any doordash orders to pick up and then obviously you just gave me an order so i just turned around and i pointed to to the customer and the customer approached him and said, hey, 
I placed an order with you guys online and I specified that this tip was to be left for the driver. So can you explain why this driver didn't get the tip that I that I left for him? So you could just see the owner's face and it's like he instantly just started sweating and like he could he got jumbled up in his words like it was crazy. And she was like, I'm waiting. So I'm trying to understand how you guys kept the tip that was specified for the driver. And again, he just, he was jumbling his words and oh, 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 I, I thought the tip was for, for the restaurant and the lady, the lady let him have it. She said, it doesn't matter what you thought. She said, in any other case, like I'd understand if I didn't mess, if I didn't uh, send you the note that the, that the tip was for the driver. But in this case, I specified and she made him show the note. Like she made him show, she, she made him show the note that she left with the order. And sure enough, the note was there. So he got busted. And she turned around and said, she let him know, I had to give this young man $20 tip that I gave, I paid to you first to give to him. So I didn't have to because I wanted my order left at the door. And in this case, the lady just happened to be right there at the door when I went to deliver it. So I wouldn't have even known about this situation if I would have just left the order and left. But since she was at the door, she got it from me anyways. And she just happened to mention to me that if I got my tip or whatever it is, because she knew she paid it through the restaurant. So it was almost like she knew, but then didn't know. But she just probably wanted to just double check and make sure because she specified it for me. Um, so now that she gave me the $20 cash, she then told the restaurant to refund her the $20 so they couldn't keep it. And uh, of course, he had nothing to say about it. So he just went on and he refunded her out of the register the $20 or whatever it is. And then she then told him that she will no longer be ordering from this restaurant again. And so this is the problem with this third party delivery people and being able to place orders online with companies and us tipping. So no wonder why these drivers are getting us so upset because they're not being tipped. And there's a lot of cases where we're not tipped. On my end, no big deal, whatever. I'm not going to sit here and go up in a rage over not being tipped for an order, whatever. But she understood that tips mean something. And she wasn't going to let them keep the $20 And after she had turned around and gave me the $20 cash. So it was like I was taken care of, but she just wanted me to be there just to see her confront him so he could feel a certain way. And she let him know that she will no longer be ordering food and that she was going to leave a review for the restaurant uh, about the situation. And just to alert everybody that when it comes to leaving tips, just wait and leave the tip with the driver in cash form or some way, but do not leave it directly with the restaurant. So I go back to the fact that is this happening more than what we know? Because I've accepted a lot of deliveries that were a lot of orders that were deliveries from merchants that requested us as drivers. We wouldn't know if we're getting tips. We really wouldn't know. I and mean, there may be some honest ones out there, maybe not. But I don't think it would come in the form of a tip. I think they would just add it to the amount that, that we were going to be paid for the base pay. So I don't think it, it would come out like in tip form. Uh, maybe it'll say $10 plus, but it won't say $10 plus X amount tip or whatever. I, I'm not sure. So I just thought it was a crazy story that I need to let you guys know. I, I never went through anything like that. And it was just so crazy. I still got my $20. She got her $20 back. Now she's no longer a customer for the restaurant anymore. So it's going to be interesting, uh, especially if I get that that uh, that company again. I wonder how that's going to go. So I'll be patiently waiting for that. But I just uh, do want to take a moment out and just have a quick story time since that was just something I felt I needed to let you guys know. Just so crazy. Um and I lost a little time dashing, obviously, about, about a half hour or whatever. But it was so worth it just to see the look on the owner's face of the restaurant. So just keep that in mind. Um, it'll still be difficult or hard to know when you accept an order from a merchant, whether you got tipped or not. And of course, you don't want to go asking the customer. So just in this case, I got lucky that the customer asked me. So it's just an unfortunate situation we'll all be in when we accept orders and it's requested for a driver by the merchant. Um, so you just kind of got to go with it just like I went with it. If she wouldn't have came out, I wouldn't have known. Nobody would be the wiser. The restaurant would have came up on a $20 tip or whatever it is. So it's just kind of crazy that they just decided to take it, especially when a note was left. So with that said, 
Your boy Simoto. Just thought I'd do a little quick story time there. I'm gonna get back to my dash and I got three minutes till I start my next hour. And uh and that is it. So until next time, people, your boy C Moto, you know what it is. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>